All right, welcome back to the Mad County Build Series. And on today's show, we're going to talk about our moisture problems, what caused them, how to avoid these problems, and then I'm going to provide some really good resources for you guys so you can make your own decision. So let's just start at the basics. So for everybody that's followed this series, you know exactly how I've built this house. If you are new to the channel, there's over 100 videos on the complete uh, build of this uh, post frame home. For the most part, I've done everything on this build. However, I knew that I wanted to use spray foam on this home because this is our dream home. This is where we want to stay. So I wanted to spend the extra money and get the best material that I could. And from what I'd been told, that was spray foam. And I still believe that to be true. There's a few problems here. And this is not coming from me. I've had numerous people out here to look at this and to analyze it. And it really comes down to a couple simple, simple things. The spray foam just isn't up to spec to perform as it's supposed to. Um, I know that, you know, there was supposed to be three inches of spray foam put in. There is three inches in most places between the wall girts. And if you're familiar with the post frame home, you have posts. And then you have uh, two by six, in my case, girts that go along the outside. And so in between those, the spray foam is three inches in most places. But where those wall girts are, it goes down to what should be an inch and a half. But in, in most cases, it's an inch. And it even um, along the bottom, it's half inch, three quarter inches. There's some other issues that were pointed out to me that in and of themselves aren't the root cause of this but there were screws that weren't covered which the the cold was just driving through those metal screws and creating frost balls there are some voids and spots that were just missed behind posts and i've opened up numerous spots on drywall on the exterior and in each one of those places i can find uh, a spot where the spray foam isn't up to the spec that it needed to be. So I've been hooked up with a guy by the name of Mike. He has a YouTube channel called Spray Jones and he does an absolute excellent job of explaining all the ins and outs of spray foam insulation. He has done a video last week on how to properly apply spray foam in a post frame style building or home. He talks about my house uh, in that video a little bit in this video that he did last week i'll leave a link in the description he explains how to properly spray foam a post frame home or building he's very detailed he's very very good at what he does and it makes no sense for me to try to explain this so i am going to send you guys to his channel if you really truly want to learn about spray foam, about vapor barriers with spray foam, um, about the proper thicknesses, the application, all the ins and outs you can find on his channel. He does an excellent job and I, I really think he deserves for you guys to go over there and subscribe to his channel and check it out so when you build your home or your building, you can make sure it is done properly. With that being said, I've talked to Mike. We've come up with uh, several videos that I will leave a link in the description that we feel is really important, mostly that he feels is important for you to watch to educate yourself on spray foam and how it needs to be done, what to look for, um, what to ask uh, a spray foam company um, when you're trying to decide on one. And I believe if you do this, you uh, will find the answers you need and you won't have this happen to you. Pretty much everybody that's been out here along with Mike has agreed that in my situation, all the exterior drywall needs to come out, the bad insulation needs to be removed, and then all of that closed cell spray foam that's there doesn't have to be removed. It just has to be brought up to the spec that it needs to be. The voids need to be filled in, those screws need to be removed, the gaps, the cracks. Um, that all has to be filled in and brought up. So we're gonna thicken up this spray foam and I should have a really good result from that. I will not be putting the fiberglass insulation back in and that is a whole nother issue in and of itself. 
um, the flash and bat system which Mike has videos on that if you guys are interested in that you can go ahead and watch his video I'll leave a link for that um, I was provided a document on the hybrid wall system which is spray foam and uh, fiberglass insulation after reading that document it's from sprayfoam.org it really makes no sense to me to do a hybrid wall system I know there's gonna be people out there that disagree with me but it's just it needs more scrutiny and there's a lot of issues in and of itself with that system so I received a ton of phone calls and emails of people that have a hybrid wall system with spray foam and fiberglass insulation that watched my video and then went and checked and found they had moisture in their walls so based on everything I've learned um, all the emails I've gotten the phone calls um, the document that I, I read on this hybrid wall system I don't like telling people what they shouldn't shouldn't do but I cannot in good faith tell somebody to do this so do me a favor go over to uh, spray Jones subscribe to his channel and watch the videos that I am leaving a link to in the description you won't be sorry you will get the education you need to make good solid decisions and to have a house or a building that is problem free and that's what we're looking for so I appreciate everybody watching I really believe this is gonna help a ton of people avoid the situation um, that uh, my wife and I are in here um, the good news is uh, we've got the go ahead to remove the drywall and start moving forward and as we uh, move forward I will uh, sh share with you how we're fixing this and getting it up to how it needs to be and we're gonna move forward although this is you know setting us back a month and a half two months it is what it is I created this channel to help people and I can tell you that even though this has been troublesome for me this is helping a lot of people all right guys so I just wanted to give you an update hopefully this video is helpful to somebody and we will catch you on the next video